Hi gang, Elizabeth here with Dandy Soap, DandelionSoap.com, and today's DIY is day number two of our ornaments and gifts for Christmas. You will need the DIY ornament that looks like a jar from Dollar Tree. Some fake snow. I'm going to be doing Home for the Holidays Little Red Truck for my Little Red Truck in a Bottle ornament. A corkscrew and also the paint markers these are the sharpie I have a black a red and a silver so the first thing we want to do is we want to remove this end of the ornament and if you just give it a yank it'll come right out we're going to be putting that corkscrew in here so you'll need your hot glue gun in order to do that so Go ahead and remove the bottom and let's go ahead and glue that Just set that aside and give it a rest <clears throat> and we are going to fix up this truck and the first thing I want to do with this truck is the glitter just does not do anything for this little truck and if you take the paint marker and color that in you're gonna be just charmed by how wonderful this little truck will look and it would just look a little more vintage a little more authentic and give it that rightful look that we're going for and you know to take your paint marker you press down and that floods the paint in there so that you get good paint coming out and I just go right over top of the glitter that glitter just does not get in the way of doing this whatsoever. Now, before I go on any further, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to pause my video and allow you guys to do the same. And see how I'm just going around the tire. If you get too close, that's fine. It's not going to hurt a thing. And then, of course, the silver. This one came from Dollar General. These paint markers you will have to get from somewhere like Walmart, even Amazon.com, um, Target, one of your craft stores. And I'm going to pause the video and finish this up, and I'll be right back. By adding the jute twine, it'll give it more of a ship in a bottle look. And this would be a great gift for a grandfather or a father who is really into the vintage trucks. To help hold my truck inside my ornament a little bit snugger, I've took an ice cream stick and cut it, and I'll be gluing my truck to the ice cream stick. As you can see, I've used the paint markers to vintage up my little truck and do away with the glitter to make it look more vintage and, all, and nostalgic. Now you can see that I've glued my truck to the ice cream stick and it will actually sit on its own without any assistance. Now it's ready to be glued inside of the ornament. To check make sure it's balancing well, I've placed it in there. And that will help me to be able to maneuver to glue my truck better. I place the tree up against the edge and that will help me to put my glue in the center without having to fight the tree. A small amount is all you'll need and that will keep you from getting glue on the jar.
by using your nozzle of your glue gun to make that hole or to get it warm enough that it will dent it in, you can take a pair of scissors and whittle your way to make a small hole. Take and press the ornament holder back together and feed the wire down inside the hole. Once you let go of it, it's going to spring into place as it did before. And this will help your to have your ornament hanging again. From a previous DIY where I disassembled the Santa Claus boot that had Merry Christmas on it and I pulled these off and use them, I'm going to glue those right onto my hanger on the inside of the bottle. I only have room to put Christmas on one side and Merry on the other. I decided to take a piece of that ice cream stick and write the Christmas year 2019 onto it with the paint markers and I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and I'm going to glue that to the side of my little ornament truck and then that way if I do give this as a gift it'll have that nostalgic to it just like buying a Christmas ornament and a big gift shop or a fancy outfit. And that will just add to the all the more heartfelt gifts are going to do something more to yours. You could go ahead and do the same. Please leave me your comments. Like this video. If you truly enjoy this video and all the other videos I feature, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Share it on social media and pin it on Pinterest especially Instagram and Pinterest. So, come over and join me on Facebook and become my friend and chat with me. Let me know how you like these videos. And if there's something particular you would like for me to do or you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button down here at the bottom. See it? Right beside the bell. And then that way you'll be the first to know as soon as a new video comes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Please share it with family and friends and on your social media. Pin us on Pinterest and visit the website at dandelionsoap.com. Until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth signing off. And I hope you all have a very, very dandy, crafty, Hey.